you want to come in? European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer was wrapping up a seven-hour-long spacewalk outside the International Space Station when he noticed water leaking into his helmet. I think we should accelerate the steps to get him out of the suit here. They got him out, but the incident in March of this year was eerily similar to what happened to an Italian astronaut back in 2013. I feel a lot of water on the back of my head. Water from the cooling tubes inside Luca Parmitano's spacesuit was leaking into his helmet, and he almost drowned. For a couple of minutes there, um, maybe more than a couple of minutes, I experienced uh, what it's like to be a goldfish in a fishbowl from the point of view of the, of the goldfish. It's a nightmare scenario, according to veteran spacewalker and former NASA astronaut Garrett Reisman, who went on to become the first spacesuit engineer at SpaceX. And obviously, if you fill the helmet, you can't breathe. And, uh, and you can't take the helmet off. So you're in a bad, bad place. And, and uh, it got very serious. NASA has now stopped all spacewalks at the International Space Station until Matthias's faulty spacesuit is returned to Earth later this month for an inspection. But even if it's fixed, the underlying problem is that these spacesuits, or EMUs, are decades old, and there's not many left. That big white spacesuit actually has heritage that goes all the way back to Apollo, so pre-1975. The helmet's exactly the same as the, as the helmet that we wore on the Apollo suits. NASA knows it's a problem. I think it's critical to have a, a suit that uh, works for everyone. NASA is now partnering with two commercial companies to develop its next generation spacesuits, but those likely will not be ready until at least 2025. NASA's gotten quite good at keeping these, these old clunkers running. I think NASA's got a really capable team that will keep these suits going as long as they have to, but the right thing is to get a new suit, and uh, the sooner the better. Kristen Fisher, CNN, New York.